Hi everyone, Mario here. It's been a while since I posted my last tutorial. Life's been real busy. In the last year, I've gotten married and we've had a kid and it's been very rewarding, but super busy. So I'm just getting back to the point where I can post some tutorials and hopefully I can do them regularly. Today, I wanna to talk about collision detection again. In the past videos, we've focused mainly on squares. So using squares to detect when points are inside them or not. Today, I wanna to focus on triangles. In the previous tutorials we've done, we've used this contains method on squares to figure out if a particular point with an X and Y coordinate is inside that square or not. The contains method also works on triangles though. And what I wanna talk about is not using the contains method, but I wanna actually talk about how it works internally. How does Ruby 2D internally figure out if a point is in inside a triangle or not? A triangle is much more difficult to figure out if a point is inside or not, just because we can't simply say, is the X coordinate between the X uh, of the square and is the Y coordinate between the Y? There's a different algorithm we need to use. So let's explore how that works now. I'm gonna start by drawing a triangle here and I'm gonna pick a point inside the triangle for this first example. So let's say this is the point that we're trying to figure out if it's inside the triangle or not. The way that we do it is we take this point and we pick two of the sides of the triangle, two of the edges, and we create a new triangle out of those three points. And then we repeat that process for the remaining sides of the triangle using our point and two other sides, and finally a third triangle. And then we take the area of these three triangles. So we take this here and this and this third triangle and we combine them. And what we should find is if the point is inside the triangle, then the area of the three triangles should be exactly the same as our triangle. Let's now look at an example where the point is not inside the triangle. So I'm gonna pick a point that's outside of the triangle. Let's repeat the same process. We'll pick three sides, creating three different triangles. So using the point and two sides, the second triangle's here and the third triangle's here. And now, if you look at the area of these triangles combined, you can see that it's not the same as the original triangle. In this case, it's greater than the original triangle. And that's how we know that the point is not inside the triangle. If the area was the same, like the first example, then we would know that the point is inside the triangle. But if the area is different, then we know that the point is outside of the triangle. And that's how the collision detection works for triangles. I hope you found that little demonstration interesting and fun. I remember when I first saw that code that, uh, that contains method for triangles, and it was just amazing to see how that worked. And I, I had to research it, and I really wanted to show all of you how that works as well. Until next time, take care.